What's up gamers, Dreamcast Guy here, and today we're going to talk about Stellar Blade because this game has become surprisingly controversial. People talking about boycotts, censorship, people kind of attacking each other, and I want to try and have a very adult conversation about this. Video games are art. And art is not supposed to always make you comfortable or happy or be what you specifically expect it to be. It is a game that has some very big titties in it. And somehow this seems to have offended some people. And I want to talk about it. And I do want to do my best to look at this from all angles because this is a unique circumstance. Hi, I'm Dreamcast Guy, and if you enjoy this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. So, recently on Friday, they dropped a very decent demo for Stellar Blade, an upcoming PlayStation 5 exclusive that, in my opinion, is incredibly good. It feels a lot like Dark Souls in that it does have a parry system and a dodge system and all sorts of cool special abilities. And honestly, the game not only looks great, it plays great. But surprisingly, people are obsessively fixating on the fact that she is an incredibly attractive character. Uh, she's sort of like an android robot lady, and uh, whoever decided to 3D print her gave her an ass that doesn't quit. Now, typically when it comes to video game discourse, there is, of course, a lot of hot and cold takes. People actually just ripping apart plot and world and gameplay. But it almost seems like so many people are very much locked onto this idea that her looks are a problem. So I want to go through a bunch of different tweets I found from people that either love it or are genuinely freaking out because of how she looks. Now, I want to start with this. The act man says, I see people complaining about Stellar Blade and how video game characters are sexualized. Some folks think it's a major problem, but sexualizing characters in media is a successful marketing tactic. And I hate to break it to you, but that's just the way it is. Now, this is, of course, true and false. There is a lot of stuff that sells well, even if it doesn't have big old mommy milkers, but it sometimes certainly helps. I mean, if you are playing a cool action -y game, if it's an attractive male or female, a dude with rock hard abs like Dante or a chick with rock hard abs like Bayonetta, you know, I think it definitely is more entertaining to look at a cool, interesting, attractive character than some fuggo. But Okay, beyond even just the aesthetics of this, I'm surprised by the people that are also, uh, <laughs> some people are definitely, I think, memeing. Some of these people that are joining in on the discourse, like, okay, she looks ridiculously attractive. I would like 17 copies of Stellar Blade, please. I, I think this guy is just being a goofball. Um, but I keep seeing stuff like this. This dude, Kareem Jovian, has been spamming tweets about 12 hours a day about how terrible this game is, how slow it is, how bad the combat is, and about how the game is just a completely mid, uh, overhyped, Sony pony mess. Stellar Blade fans cannot handle that the game is a dud on arrival. They weren't expecting this. The slow combat was unexpected by most fans. Now they're attacking Maximilian Dude for being lukewarm about the game. Now, uh, this is actually a straight up lie. Maximilian Dude uh, was doing a stream with his friends. He pretty much clarified like, hey, the game does look good. I, I don't know. He's purposely not showing the tweets. Uh, Kareem is not showing the clips that... Uh, he did enjoy the game. It's pretty obvious that Maximilian Dude thinks the game is interesting. And, and also, let's just be clear before we even move on. Not every game needs to be a 10 out of 10. Not every game even needs to be a 9 out of 10. I would actually say a lot of the games that I have the most hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours in a lot of times are those 8 out of 10 experiences. Sometimes stuff that's a little bit rough around the edges sort of intrigues me more. Like I think I gave a 8.5 out of 10 to freaking Helldivers 2 and I have almost 100 hours in that. I platinumed it. And you know what? I think I almost appreciate the fact that the game is a little bit jank, right? Okay, but... 
Here's another tweet by this uh, very strange guy. Now, I do want to make it clear, I'm not specifically attacking anybody in this video. We're going to show some actually insanely dumb, in my opinion, tweets here in a second, but I don't want you to attack any of these people. Please do not find these people on Twitter and, and tell them how stupid this stuff is, because I think these people know that these are ignorant takes. Like this guy who has now posted like 15 tweets about how terrible the game is, is now actually saying, oh, but it's also bad that it's not on Xbox. Exclusive games are hurting the industry. Huh. So the game is bad, but also why isn't it on Xbox? You're terrible people for it. Now, I, I tweeted this out. The worst part of Twitter is that people are getting paid to say the stupidest things possible. This great game that everybody loves is actually bad. I do genuinely think a lot of these people, because uh, on Twitter, if you have this little check mark, you, you get paid for people actually looking at your tweets. There are people that literally just scream the stupidest thing possible. I genuinely don't believe a lot of these Stellar Blade haters, not to be a conspiracy theorist, I think a lot of these people that are just talking about how awful and e evil the big titty lady is, I think they're just doing it for attention because there's no way people actually believe it. But here is a weird thing. Uh, weird gamers. You can't make sexy women in games anymore. I'm sorry, did any of you losers miss how feral everyone was going over Lady D when Resident Evil Village came out? We love sexy characters. We just don't like your unsexy version of sexy. Now, this is a take I have seen quite a bit, and I must admit I am a bit confused by it. There are these people that seem to be implying that the character is sexy, but in the wrong way, that a character has to have a certain amount of character development or backstory or plot. And again, all we have is a demo of Stellar Blade. Even if this game does turn out to be fantastic, this tiny slice of it is definitely not the full picture. But this is the weird thing. There is a subtle but important distinction between empowering sexuality, uh, basically a la Bayonetta, so a character that's cool and badass but doesn't exactly flaunt it, or the male gaze, ass and titties sexuality. Now, obviously, this is uh, full of typos. I'm not sure. Uh, she probably just hammered this out on her phone. I, I don't even fault the typos, but a lot of people are basically saying, Look at this. Something, something. You could be a sexy lady, but the minute you trade a profit off it, a la OnlyFans, you become an irredeemable whore. Okay, so th this lady, uh, a lot, a lot of her tweets, uh, I see a lot of these people that just seem to be like, uh, we love titties. We just want to see them attached to someone who also revels in their glorious gazangas, not in a motionless fuck doll. Now, I don't want to, you know, psychology project upon this person, but what are you talking about? Like, <laughs> I have no idea. Again, all we have is a demo and like three trailers of Stellar Blade and people are already calling her a, a digital whore and a, a fuck doll. Truly baffling behavior. Now, I want to quickly give my take. I've been trying to be impartial. We're going to look at a couple more tweets here in a second, but I am a big fan of video games as art. Obviously, I've dedicated my entire life to video games. All I do is game and get platinum trophies and try and do side quests and see the weird stuff that's unseen. I love my job. I love exploring video games, and I do think that art, whether it is movie or music or books, Censorship, a lot of times, is just the not correct path. You guys probably don't notice this, but I have a lot of book quotes. I have book quotes tattooed all over me. I've got Kurt Vonnegut on my chest. I've got, uh, you know, all sorts of freaking manga tattoos. But this one on my arm that you can't see very well is from Chuck Palahniuk. This is a writer who makes books that are so offensive, people often vomit literally vomit reading Chuck Palahniuk books. And if you've ever read a Chuck Palahniuk book, uh, this is the guy who wrote Fight Club and Devil and uh, Rant, uh, Invisible Monsters. I've read every book he's ever written. His stuff is at times repulsive. When I was reading his book Haunted, I actually almost vomited. Now, here's the point I'm trying to make. 
I would never ask Chuck Palahniuk to edit the way he's writing. I don't think it's supposed to be the most mainstream of mainstream. I think art is a lot of times not supposed to just be challenging, but I think there is an entertainment to pushing you outside your comfort zone. That's why I'm obsessed with horror. I love studying horror movies. Recently, I watched Late Night with the Devil, and to me, not only was it a really good movie, I liked the fact that it was uncomfortable and different and weird. It wanted to be cool, but it also wanted to make you afraid and feel a bit weird while sitting in your seat. I think Stellar Blade is the kind of game where it's not the biggest political statement. I'm not saying that, wow, the world's going to get changed by how fat those sweater meats are. To me, I think it's just showing the fact that they wanted to make a specific kind of horny, badass art. And to me, that is fine. Now, I want to take a look at these last two sets of tweets, one by this guy named Tark's Gauntlet. This guy, very small uh, content creator, but I, he's actually been following me for years, and I've been following for him. I think his tweets are great. He talks a lot about RPGs and stuff, and he says this, Overt sexualization in a game is just as much a stylistic choice as making a game cell shaded and equally as valid. I got to admit, I think this is the best take I've seen of anybody literally on the entire internet of that making a character that is a horny badass. This is not just a choice. It is a stylistic decision, which you kind of have to support. Like, even if you end up not buying the game, I'm not telling you that you got to line up and pre-order this. I'm saying that I find it interesting that it is a choice. They did decide to make it look this way specifically, and the people that are pushing back against it that's your decision to criticize or support something. But it, it's weird that people are trying to act like it's just for the gooners. You know, try, don't try and shame people for playing it. It is what it is. That's great. Now, I want to end this video off with some tweets by Miss Click. Uh, she's a good friend of mine. Uh, she and I have done podcasts together for years and years and years. She is predominantly a Nintendo streamer. She's done some very big viral streams for Zelda and Splatoon and stuff like that. But she basically chimed in with a take that I think is very interesting. The Stellar Blade discourse is embarrassing. Like, honestly, as a woman, I'm so tired of everything having to be about my body. You want success? You gotta show your body. You have success? Well, it's because you showed your body. Too skinny? Ugly body. Too curvy? Ugly body. Get work done? Destroyed your body. I know men have their struggles, too. I'm a huge advocate for fighting through our challenges. It helps if we can together. I'm just tired of this in particular today. Now, she makes it pretty clear that the whole point of this is that it sucks that anytime anybody tries to do anything, it's got to be commented upon by the masses. You know, oh, I'm sorry, Stellar Blade is too attractive. Oh, I'm sorry that Stellar Blade is just too sexy. We all have to chime in and vote upon it. I almost think non-opinion is in a way the correct opinion. Buy the game, don't buy the game. Beat the game, try the demo, ignore it. All of these are correct options, but I do think the weirdos that are trying to, in their own way, uh, post upon it being like, oh, this is all part of the male gaze. It's, uh, it's toxic sexuality. This stuff to me, I don't know, positive, negative, do whatever you want with it. But my take is definitely just, I like the game. I'm going to buy it. I'm definitely going to review it. But the people that are clearly seethingly mad touch grass and maybe someday touch a titty. Jesus Christ. Okay, well, these have just been some off-the-cuff thoughts. What do you think about Stellar Blade? And Are you going to buy it? Have you tried the demo? Tell me your thoughts in the comments down below, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and please keep dreaming. I can't believe I filmed this 14-minute video no stutters, no mess ups. Look at that. Look at that. You can tell I've definitely had my morning monster. Hashtag not sponsored. Gaming. I don't know. Why, why, why do I do this? Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.